Welcome back YouTube, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be continuing to play uh, Four Color Gates in MTG Arena Best of Three Ranked. Uh, so I went through a full deck tech in another video, uh, it'll be in the playlist here, it's the one against the Is It Phoenix list, but holistically this is a Four Color Gates deck, pretty traditional, uh, you have your Gatebreaker Rams, your Gate Colossus, uh, two Archer Angels, and the Hydroid Crisis is your main win conditions. Uh, you have Ramp in the form of Growth Spiral and Circuitous Root, uh, Card Draw and Guild Summit, Sweepers and Gates of Blaze, and I'm opting for two Deafening Clarions in the main. And then my flex spots in the deck are a Banefire as a Mana Sink, Uncounterable, and then uh, one Domri to use Riot to haste out our creatures, and if unchecked you could get the Emblem off. And then one Vivian to deal with flyers, artifacts, enchantments, as well as just to keep drawing us into more card draw. In the sideboard, it's basically anti-control cards, uh, some stuff against like the Phoenix deck, Mono Blue, stuff of that nature, Rhythm of the Wild versus Control decks, and then another Vivian. So if you want the detailed uh, like card by card view, just check out the Phoenix list. Uh, the video I can link it in the uh, I'll pin it in the comments below. Uh, but we'll play this in ranked best of three and take it from there. So this is platinum rank that I'm at right now. Platinum three, almost platinum two. And as we get started, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. Uh, it costs you absolutely nothing and we'll get you entered. Uh, we're almost at 100 uh, subs. Once we hit that point, we will be doing another giveaway. At 50 subs, we gave away two promo FNM light up the stage. So we'll continue with that. Uh, so once we hit 100 subs, we'll be giving away something else cool. Still trying to figure out exactly what, but it'll be a sweet one for sure. Um, so this hand, it's a little awkward. If we can get a, second, a blue source within our opponent goes first, we have a draw, we really have two turns. Yeah, we'll try it out. If this was a Simic Guild gig, it would be a snap keep. Mono blue, this is going to be tough. So we'll lead on the Grill Guild gate. Not having a sweeper in our hand right now. It's going to be a little awkward. Especially with a unblockable obsession draw. So this one's probably done already. We're really not going to have any action. We'll give it one more draw. If we don't see it, then we'll just uh, concede this one. They're going to be able to hold up protection now. They're drawing two cards per turn. We don't have a sweeper in hand or really any removal outside of that. Ram doesn't block either, which makes it a little awkward. See what the opponent does here. They miss cloak. Archway Angel, maybe. Play out the ram. They have an essence capture. No. I love that animation. Just. <laughs> okay, so they trickster us here, which is pretty. Pretty bad. We'll see if we can hit a Clarion. They're going to hit us for six. They most certainly have a counter spell in this mess of cards. So there is the Gates Ablaze. So let's attack in first, see if they want to flash in a Trickster. They do. So they'll opt to trade here. Alright, does this resolve? We're in a good spot if it resolves. Wizard's Retort, Spell Pierce, yeah. 
We got one more draw. If not, then we lose. And this is where, like, against Mono Blue, when they have these types, the obsession, and you can't interact right at the beginning, then you fall pretty far behind. Out of the board, we're doing pretty well. We have uh, Rhythm of the Wilds to get our threats down without it being countered. Uh, we can bring in Negates to fight over stuff. Uh, Gates of Blaze doesn't do it now either. Uh, nope. We lose that one. So punish for missing blue early. Uh, so here I like the lava coils. Get rid of Domri. The rhythms are a good way for us to get creatures down. Banefire is not that good. Gonna cut three cards. So I actually don't think I like Rude in this matchup. We can't really take a turn off. Canopy is another removal spell versus the Flyers. Or do we just want Negate? So we have three Lava Coils. I feel like we're always going to be too far behind to have Negate be relevant. Crushing Canopy is pretty good. Do we want a second Vivian? Vivian's probably hard for us to get down as well. Let's run it like this. That game, if we got the Gates of Blaze off, we probably could have recovered. But they were just drawing too many cards. Being on the play also helps. Uh, probably keep. A little awkward still. Okay, so we have the breeding pool here. We'll just play that tapped. Okay, so we have Gateway Plaza. Doesn't do anything for us, but let's just throw down a ram. Worst case, we just play another plaza next turn and Crisis for two. Draws us a card. I uh, can't gate to blaze yet. Not getting the value off the plaza harmony is awkward. Drawing another one doesn't help. We could Dijin next turn, or we could play Vivian next turn and try to take down the Dijin. See if opponent attacks in here. Uh, here. Here we'll just take it. This will keep getting bigger, and then in case they get a Curious Obsession, we want to have a Flyer to block. Okay, so they have the Storm Tamer. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So we have two Guild Gates, it's not enough. Uh, Clarion, we don't have the red source right now. So here, I think we just attack in. Come on. And probably just an end turn. I want to make the crisis big enough that it can at least block Dijin. We could Plaza Harmony next turn, and depending on how they tap out, either try to go for a Vivian, or go a Gates of Blaze. Okay, so they get the Obsession here. So now we're going to block. Definitely block. Block here. Okay. 
so another Gates Ablaze. So you don't want Gates Ablaze if we play both of them. It's not going to do anything. So we'll gain three life and then play out a Crisis. So I'm going to attack first in case they have a kit this way. Forces them if they have a Trickster to play it now instead of a counter spell. If then we can drop down the Vivian. The minimum we get to draw two. Okay, so they have the retort. Okay, so grab another gate. Still don't have white, which is a little awkward. Triple obsession. So they're hitting us for 8 a turn, now 9. So same approach as last one. Attack in. Okay, let's play Trickster here. 1, 2, 3 guild gates. See if we can get Vivian to fall. They have the negate. So they're hitting us for nine next turn. Don't think that's enough. But we can double sweep her next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have enough at least. One, two, three, four. So we'll deal four damage. And then we can clary. Well, we can't actually clary on. We don't have the white source. We have to double blaze. This matchup's usually pretty tough for gates. The fact they have so much cheap interaction. Resolve. Nope, they got us. It's a tough one. But we'll run it back. Really just want to play Gruel or just like some of the bigger decks. Mid range is where this deck will feast. It's really against the more aggressive stuff that you have to be mindful. We are on the play. We're gonna mulligan this. Uh, even worse. Jeez. Uh, Some awkward hands. Depending on how aggressive opponent is. So. Lead on the red source. Might have to use this Bane Fire early as removal. Clarion's awkward. Chain Weller. Yeah, and then this coming down, so they're going to start putting pressure on us. Land's good, but not a white source. I was hoping for that. So plaza would be good. Even a white source wouldn't be too bad. gonna use this just keep our life total a bit higher if 
If we hit one more guild gate, we can play the Colossus. Or if we have an untapped land, we can play Colossus. Perfect, and that gives us a white source. So next turn, hopefully we can catch the opponent. So the first one, we won't give it lifelink. But uh, we'll see if they'll block with the Phoenix. If they do attack, okay, so they're just going to the face. If they go, if they attack with the Phoenix, then we use both modes before attacking and gain eight life. We try to race them that way. We effectively have 16 points of life swing. Play rhythm out. Always oh, scary. Another Colossus is pretty nice, but here we need to gain the life. Uh, how many cards do they have in hand? Let's just do the lifelink component. In case they do have two burn spells, I don't want to lose our Colossus. Because that puts us pretty far ahead. And then if we can get the angel down, it should put us out of reach. See what the opponent plays now. They might be flooding out. So root gets us two, so it makes that cheaper. And then it gets us play the angel next turn. So I'll probably go with that root. Actually, I just need a blocker back. Because the problem is, if we do this, we don't make it free. Yeah, it's still two. So we'll just play out a second Colossus. We need a blocker back because of uh, Rhythm. even if they have the dragon they can make it five haste and then that is nine damage in retrospect we should have just done the clarion line it was the safest Let's see what the opponent does they're starting to rope us Come on, opponent. What you got? Alright, so they play a land. These lists usually don't play Bane Fire. Come on. Okay, so they have one timeout left. They attack in. They take our Bane Fire for the win. Wow. Yeah, so that was wrong by us. We should have Clarioned. Let's see if they cast this in time. So 
So could have taken the safer play, we didn't, and it's going to cost us the match. That is unfortunate. Need to be mindful and take Banefire out for sure then. Oh, so there's a chance. Yeah. So we end up sneaking out with that one. Uh, so in this matchup, we want the Lava Coils. Uh, the Vivian's probably also pretty good. Just to grind them out. Take out that. Clarions are good for the Life Swing. Probably get rid of Domri and another Roots. Just scale down that. Or, you know, uh, maybe go down a summit, keeping a root. So they did show rhythm, and they did show, do we want a canopy instead? Maybe a canopy is a catch-all. This probably is the dragon list. Did the canopy come in? No. Okay. We'll run this one. The list very slightly. Some will stop at the Phoenix. Others will go up to Skargan Hellkite. Uh, usually you don't see the rhythm. So this hand. We're one line away from keeping it. Sounds much better. Uh, I think we're okay for lands at this point. Actually no, this turns on Clarion, so we should keep it. Gonna lead on the guild gate. Okay, so they have Growth Chamber. Gates of Blaze will be good to clean those up in a bit. So we'll Growth Spiral. Crisis will be good later. So we're doing this so we don't show them that we have the white right now. It's actually pretty good if they don't have the land there because we can just use the Clarion to clean that up. And then they don't get the card draw. Put that into play. So we have a couple options here. I think we just go... Go big here. We can Gates of Blaze next turn. Clean it up even if they adapt it. But this puts on the most pressure while they're struggling to find lines. Got a new sub. And that's taken down Gruel. So another pretty impressive victory. So I'm going to do a couple more videos. Um, but I'm going to split them up just so they're shorter so you can take a look. Uh, like I mentioned, there's the Is It Phoenix vi vi uh, matchup that's already uh, going to be up on the channel. The full deck text there. And then they'll, they'll all be under the constructed uh, gameplay. So thanks for watching and make sure if you haven't done so to subscribe.